my hoops. <gasps>、hey Guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Alexia, and today I'm showing you guys how to get this lightweight, summery makeup look because you know we're going to cookouts and pool parties and whatever else you're doing this summer. Um, and this makeup look is just super lightweight and natural looking, easy to do whenever you're gonna be outside in the summer. So, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm gonna prime. So, I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Instead of using foundation, because foundation can be heavy and sweaty and gross if you're out in the sun a lot or if you're going to a, the pool or going to a cookout or whatever you're doing this summer,、um, it can be kind of heavy. So, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is in the shade medium tan neutral, and I'm just going to dot this on the different areas that have hyperpigmentation or any redness or stuff like that. So、I'm gonna take this foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend it in. You just wanna do little padding motions, no like sweeping and dragging because that's gonna like move the concealer to areas where you don't want it. So if you just kind of pat, it keeps it in the area that you want it while still blending it out. So now I'm just going around the edges and blending it out so there are no harsh, ed harsh, <laughs> harsh edges.、Um, so then it should look like this. Oh my god. I have an appointment today, okay? I have an appointment today.、Um, but you can still see your skin showing through. So I prefer that for summer and honestly every time of the year because, like, I don't know. I just. It's a lot quicker and it just it gives your skin some room to breathe through the makeup instead of like it being packed on, which I do like that sometimes. But I do like my skin to, you know, be able to still feel like skin and not like and not feel like I can't touch my face or my whole face is gonna slide off type of thing. So, next for my under eyes, I'm gonna use the same concealer just in a lighter shade. This is in the shade medium. I'm gonna take a concealer brush. This is from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection. And I'm just going to tap this in under my eyes. So, again, same with the other concealer all over your face. You wanna tap it in and not like drag it, because dragging just is not good because. First of all, you don't want to drag under your under eyes because that area is super sensitive, but you also lose coverage by dragging. So then you can see my bags and dark circles and caves of under eyes are covered. So now it's time to powder your face.、Um, so I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I really like this powder, it's really lightweight and thin. Um, but it's very mattifying, so it's good for the summer because it's gonna control your oils and sweat and stuff, but it's not gonna be super heavy and cakey on your face. So I'm just gonna take a big powder brush and I'm going to lightly dust this on. Okay, so now that the Concealer and base and whatever is set.、Um, it's time for bronzer. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. This is my all time favorite bronzer. Sometimes I'll use my bronzer on this brush because it gives you a more precise location. But when it's a light look like this, I use a bigger brush because I want my face in general to be more bronze, not just like a defined area.
now it's time for blush. So I'm I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It just looks like this, super peachy. It has a nice glow to it, so it's not gonna look matte and flat on your face. For highlight, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Undetectable Luminizer. It's a freaking highlighter. This is the Makeup Forever highlighter. It's the gold one. There's two. This is the gold one. I put it in between my eyes and I put it on the tip of my nose. I guess this is kind of like the exclamation point technique. I don't really have like a bridge. Like I don't have like, oh, this is the bridge of my nose. Like I don't really have it. It's just low key flat in there. Like I look like one of those cartoon people that you draw when you're little and you draw the face and you draw the eyes and then you just draw the nose in the middle of the face. You don't put a below bridge or nothing. You just plop the nose right in there. That's what I look like. My nose is just here. There's no like connection, if that makes sense. Like there's nothing from, basically there's nothing for my glasses to sit on. So I can't really do the exclamation point because it looks stupid. But if I put it right in between my eyes and right here, it kind of, gives it the illusion that maybe I do have a bridge. You know, that's what I hope that it looks like, but who really knows? I still look like a cartoon person, it's fine. This is pretty much all of the face things that I'm going to put on my face for, how many times can I say face? This is all the face products that I'm gonna put on my face. These are all the products that I'm gonna put on my face. So the next step before I move on to eyebrows and eyelashes is to set everything so there's no chance of it looking powdery or gross or dry or musty, crusty, dusty. So I'm using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So yeah, it's all dried down now and I don't know if you can tell any difference on camera, but I can definitely tell in person that there's no like ashy Casper the Ghost casket ready cast. If you're a person of color or you're any type of tan, once you put powder on, depending on, like if it's a translucent powder and it doesn't like match your skin tone, you can kind of look a little, a little, a little ashy and the setting spray just melts everything into your face and takes the ashiness away. So then I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and my eyes. So I'm gonna scoot a little closer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. So when I'm doing a lighter weight look, I like to do my eyebrows differently. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually set them with a tinted brow gel. I'm gonna take the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso, um, and I'm just going to run this through my brows. I go in with my ColourPop Brow Pencil kind of lightly define the front of the brow underneath like that. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to define the top of my brow. And then the most filling in I do is in the arch and the tail because I don't have one. Like that, and you can see the difference between this brow and this brow. So then for mascara, you can literally use any mascara that you like. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. My favorite mascara of all time is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. But sometimes I don't feel like spending over $20 on a mascara. Like sometimes it just makes me upset. Look like, oh my God, oh my God. I think we need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? So when this happens, um, don't touch it. Do not touch it. 
just let it dry and then it'll flake off with a q-tip okay so now it's time to get this off Ta-da! finally taking this freaking clip down so i can look at it all again okay so the last thing i'm gonna do for this summery look is use some lip gloss so i'm taking this milani lip gloss okay so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already um follow me on my social medias everything will be down below and i hope you guys have a great day bye you ain't and she ain't gonna be you but guess whatever hey guys welcome welcome Drink up, I'ma smoke some, keep it moving, it was nice to know ya Boy, watch me leave